Day two in the Viper. He didn't even give me a ride yesterday. Nope. Can you believe that? But I am today. Check out this gorgeous hair. <laughs> He's gonna take off. I'm probably gonna drop the camera. I'm not gonna try don't, not to. Don't drop the camera. I'm gonna try not to. But this is a Viper, it's not like we're driving a Volkswagen. Yeah. Alright, we're going up to Latigo, which is a, a beach just north of where we are. We're meeting up with a gentleman named David Olin, who has a very cool Bronco. I'm gonna shoot that car for the Surfside News. This used to be the original Pacific Coast Highway, 1929. I'm having a bad hair day. <laughs> Uh, this is David Owen. We're in Malibu uh, in Latigo Beach, and he has a very cool Bronco. What year is this car? 68. And how long? You said you've only you've had it since summer. I've had it since late summer, and I've done a lot of work to it because it's fun. Why? Why this car? Why? Why not a Tahoe or some other? Oh, easy, man. Um, you know, I, I like old cars. I like American cars. I've had you know various cars over the years. And I just thought as a surf car, I would get an old American car and there were certain requirements I had to be able to, first of all, it had to be topless or um, what they call them, convertible. And this has got the uh, Bimini top. Yeah. And there's a lot of conversions, but typically since you're only driving it, uh, you know, around Malibu or to the beach or whatever, yeah, yeah. then I'm just gonna, you know, keep it. How, with the top how did, off. How did you get the license plate? Well, that was cool. I just went in the DMV I and- I can't believe they had it. And I just, I, you know, I had to go in there anyway because the guy I got it from had a bunch of tickets. And by the way, you don't have to pay somebody else's ticket. I didn't know that even yeah, as a lawyer. I guess my advice would be if you have a bunch of tickets, sell your car. <laughs> anyway. Um, True advice from, a, from an attorney, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, legal advice, I'll tell you later. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so then I just went in the DMV and uh, I, I was like, oh, you, you this is an old car, and I get in California. I, I'm a 62, the car's a 68. Yeah. And I remember those license plate. It's an early memory. So there it is. Awesome. All right, we're going to take this car. We're going to go find a, a great location to do a photo shoot real quick for the Surfside News. And who knows else? We're going to follow in the Viper, and uh, we're going to get in trouble in Viper. Surfside. Yeah, I don't, this is private, so we can't get into it. Unless, you know, when you want to go outside a lot of go, but we don't need to. No, that's fine. Yeah. We'll go over. I All don't right. care. Yeah. yeah. All right. To an undisclosed location to shoot this car. I have no idea where we are. But who cares when you're driving a Viper? All right, we're going into a top secret place. This is awesome. This is cool. Hey. This oh. is original. Oh my god, it is. This is original highway. Oh my god, nobody gets to go on this. See, this is the center divider here. Uh huh. And all the southbound lanes are gone down here, plus some. And then over here, all the southbound lanes are gone. So the old cures they used it because it slipped out. Yeah, but that's still. I mean, that's got to be a little bit more. Can I do that, David? Can I rotate a little yeah. bit more? Yeah.
attorney here in Malibu. How long have you been an attorney? 26 years. And always in Malibu? Uh, no, uh, I'm from LA. I mm -hmm. uh, went to University of San Diego after UCLA. I've been, I've had my own practice you, for are, are you a, years. a better attorney because you like cars? I think my understanding of cars and driving uh, in, in terms of my personal injury case, which is a big part of my practice, mm -hmm. certainly, certainly helps, yes. Uh, but you're looking for something new, possibly a Tesla for, to carry your short boards in. Right, for my, my I don't drive this to court um, <laughs> or to depositions. Or, you should or, though. It's a vegan bakery. All right. All right, we're not gonna go sideways this time. You better not. That was okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to the Karma Bakery. Gluten-free, egg-free. We'll see. out here because Kathy was going to Dr. Norling to uh, to do some tests and a variety of things and we find ourselves at a vegan bakery which is phenomenal. Mm. I just I just had a chocolate donut and I'm I'm like beside myself. So why why do you think that this is important nowadays to have places like this? Uh, because our country is the unhealthiest country. Our children eat very very poorly mm -hmm. and if we could only bring more of these types of restaurants and food establishments around, we'd have a much healthier society. The quality of this stuff is beyond. The quality beyond. is beyond what yeah. you're going to We're trying very hard to get this into the public school system. Oh yeah, that's great. That would be wonderful. Well, we'll try to help because we've got a lot of kids watching. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Children, eat well. <laughs> okay, Celine is the owner of Karma Baker. Mm -hmm. Okay, why, why did you start this place? What was important for you to have a place like this? I started this because, well, I didn't mean to have a place like this, <laughs> but I started it because I found out I had food allergies and they were all the main things. You yeah. know, I was always a baker and you know, always baking for my kids. I started baking for a neighbor that had bad allergies and same kind of stuff, you know, all the wheat, all the dairy, all the eggs. And uh, it broke my heart that she couldn't eat it. And so I was like, well, I can figure something, you know. And Nothing so worse than baking stuff you can't eat. Exactly, you know, so I started baking something she could just eat, you know. Yeah. And it was okay, it was pretty good, yeah. but it wasn't great. But then when I found out I had the same things, I said, all right, I really want to eat a good chocolate chip cookie. And yeah. so I just started figuring it out. I went hardcore. Well, is... thank God for people like you. Because <laughs> now we have a place to come to exactly. and get this stuff exactly. and, and not feel not feel too awful about yeah. it. So uh, there's just a little bit of guilt involved. I broke down. And it was probably the best I've ever had. Uh, thank so you. really, really good. So, so if you want for more information, what's the website? Uh, karmabaker.com. Okay, and people can can they order from anywhere? Yeah, you can order anywhere. We ship nationwide. Okay. Um, brownies, uh, cupcakes, cookies. Yeah, you're all in trouble. Bread. Right <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, wow. she was really cool. She was awesome. Very cool lady, uh, an amazing bakery, uh, Karma Baker. You guys got to check it out. The food is unbelievable. Oh. Did I get a bite? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Oatmeal. No wheat, no dairy, no egg. Doesn't taste any difference. Phenomenal. Hey, you're spilling stuff in the Viper. I am. All right, we're going back to Dr. Norley now. Kathy's getting a face peel. Face, no. face off. I wonder if I'll come up face with a different off. face. I don't know. You got a new haircut. It might right. as well get a new face to go along with it. Yeah, I'm all about being new these days. <laughs> You ready? I am. Okay. I'm gonna glow. <laughs> Any second now. How was that? Good. Your face feels clean. I can feel the 
brightness coming off your face. Awesome. Okay, time for some lunch. I'm gonna go get some lunch. And unfortunately, I gotta take that. So, Maddie's checking out the Viper. What do you think? Oh my god, it's so <laughs> Woo! You can say shit all you want. It's my show. Oh my god, it's so fabulous. It's nice, very nice. I mean, uh, it's a nice I'm viper. Good. Yes, it's good. I, I ordered me one. Yeah. Okay.